in my hotel I'm fiddling with your TV in the hotel and I see a program coming up brother Jimmy Swaggart at the background you see pictures about Babylon you know ancient Babylon and he's lecturing on Babylon at the end one of the panel members you know he passed on some information about Buddha he said I went to Mongolia and I visited a Buddhist temple and the supervisor while he was guiding me around we came across the prayer wheel a wheel they call it a prayer wheel on which they put the prayers pin the prayers what is your request what do you want he said well look man I am now grown up and I want to marry and I can't seem to get a, a wife good enough for me so he writes out his request and puts it on the prayer wheel and while they turn and turn and turn this is how they believe that the prayer is being transmitted to Lord Buddha so this gentleman from the Swagat ministry he is asking the supervisor he said why you do this he said no we are offering prayer transmitting and he says the prayers get answered so this gentleman of the Swagat team he said, I told the supervisor, the guide, that look, I have been reading many books on Buddhism. Nowhere, nowhere in any of these books does Buddha claim to be God. You're offering prayer to him as God, but he's no God. He never claimed to be God. So the supervisor, or the, or the, the guide, he says, yes, that is true. But you see, we make him God. He didn't claim it, but we make him. So I said, the same thing happens to my Christian brethren. You see, they are laughing at the Buddhist. He said, the Buddha never claimed to be God. And that is true. But they say, we make him God. So I said, Jesus never claimed to be God. But the Christians, without uttering the words, the way they said that, we make him God. He is God. But I said, the man never said, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the Bible, not one where Jesus says, I am God, or worship me. There is not a plain, unambiguous statement anywhere in the Bible where the man says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. And believe me, the most erudite, DDs, theologians, they can't seem to understand simple English. They are listening to me alright, it's their language I am talking. I said, there is not a single place, statement where he says, where he says, S-A-Y-S, says, I am God. Or where he says, worship me. Allah says in the Holy Quran. says, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, La taghlu fi dinikum. Say, do not go to extremes in your religion. Don't go to extremes. In matters of religion, matters of faith, take the balanced path, the middle path. Don't go to extremes. One saying that because there is no father, his father is God. The other saying because there is no father, is illegitimate. Don't go to extremes. Wala taqulu alallahi illa al-haq, and don't say anything about God except the truth. In namal masih, most certainly the Messiah, translated Christ. Isa ibn Maryama, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is the messenger of God, is the messenger of Allah, wa kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him, al-qaha ila Maryamu wa ruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Fa'aminu billahi wa rusulihi, so believe in Allah and his messenger. That is exactly what Jesus says in the Gospel of St. John. He said, and this is life eternal, that we should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. The Quran tells us the same thing. Believe in the one and only God, and Jesus Christ is the messenger of God.